What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Don Mike back at it again with another video. The original video for today, however, it is is a solid video. I think it's a pretty solid video. It's just not ready yet. It's not up to par or what I want it to be basically. So it's not going to get released today. So in this video today, we're actually going to do a channel update. We're going to do a little Q&A, all that different kind of stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, you need any of your questions answered from the comments, from Instagram, Twitter, anything like that, maybe you just want to know what's going on with the channel right now, what I'm working on going forward in the future, then this is the video for you. If it's not the video for you, then you probably just either not watch the video or just go watch one of my other videos. Either way, this will be a short and sweet video, so let's just get right into it. So let's actually talk about a channel update first. I want to ask you guys, basically, what do you want to see on this channel? Because, I mean, that matters. I mean, you know, obviously I want to record what I want to record, but obviously if you don't really like what I record and what I try to present to you as news or data or whatever then you probably won't watch the video you probably won't enjoy the video so down in the comment section let me know what you actually want to see on the channel as far as personal finance maybe some reviews maybe tech reviews anything like that i got you covered so i'll make those happen to an extent i mean i can't go out and buy like i don't know like a thousand dollar drone to review i mean that'd be pretty cool but i'm pretty sure if you were looking to buy a thousand dollar drone you're probably on the wrong channel anyway i simply don't really have the money for that but other youtubers do so Check out some of those tech YouTubers if you want to see a review on a thousand dollar drone. Either way, if you want to see a review or anything on other smaller products that are a lot cheaper than a thousand dollar drone, then drop the comments down below. If you want to see any personal finance news or personal finance, like my thoughts on any personal finance topics like banks, credit cards, um, just general personal finance things, saving money, money in general, anything that kind of relates to money, drop the comments down below and let me let me know what you actually want to see because I'll cover it. I, I literally have a whole full blown list. Look look at this list. I'm not joking. Like I have a list of stuff like that I have to talk about. So I have a lot of stuff that I want to get covered on this channel, but I don't have that much time to do it all at least that fast. Obviously other things going on in my life that I want to actually try to accomplish as well. So I'm working on those things as well. Don't want to announce them just yet because they're still in the process, but hopefully by the end of the year, I can announce something new for you guys that you'll probably like. Actually a couple of things that you'll probably like. I can't announce them yet, but hopefully in the future, the near future, because I want to have it accomplished or kind of done by the end of this year. So hopefully um, I'll be able to announce that stuff for you. But Either way, any of those questions or comments or anything like that you want me to cover, any topics you want me to cover, drop the comments down below, let me know. Either way, what we got going on next up is a lot of credit card videos. And I mean, I know you guys like my credit card videos, but like, I'm just looking at my notes. Like, it's a decent amount of credit card videos that might be covered. I mean, as far as like the six credit card videos. So if you guys don't know, I have a six credit card now. So definitely got to make a six credit card cash back type of how ordeal how I'm basically, you know, using six different credit cards. This is only four, six different credit cards, basically, to get the amount of cash back or the maximum amount of cash back for those six different cards. Um, so we got that video. We got the Chase Trifecta video. I haven't really talked about American Express credit cards on the channel before, so I'll probably do that um, one of these days. I want to talk to you guys again about savings accounts, saving money in general, because that's kind of what got my channel started. So I want to make sure you understand, like, as far as like, you know, where to really put your money to save the most money. Obviously, you put in a high interest savings account, but even past the high interest savings account, toss the money in Yoda savings or Yada savings. It'll be a link down below for it. And I also made a video about it. It's a great way to save money. I'm going to continually actually make Yada savings videos going forward or Yoda. I don't know how to pronounce it going forward. Just to basically keep you guys updated with that app, let me let you know how much I'm actually making from that app compared to my regular, just general old boring savings account, which isn't fun. Either way, watch that Yada savings video because that's it's pretty cool. It's basically a lottery like savings account. So if you're interested in the lottery, but you don't want to lose money, you only want to make money, then boom, that's exactly what it is. I also want to cover a couple of more fintech banks or basically like these finance technology banks because that one finance bank that I talked about I actually ended up getting an account which I said I would I got the debit card right here that I probably really won't use because it's a debit card and I mainly use credit cards for everything but either way I got it for you guys I got it for you guys so I can make a review on it I made a review on the bank account already and I pretty much hit it on the mark everything is 100% accurate as far as that video goes but either way this is the let me hop my face this is the one finance bank 
debit card or whatever nice debit card i simply put my youtube checks on here so for right now every check i get from youtube goes to this card it'll probably go somewhere else but if i make it go to this card i actually get three percent apy which is really 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 solid and you should probably just check that video out about the one finance bank it's just another bank basically but it's a solid it's a solid card it's a solid bank account they're new they're fdic insured so you don't have to worry about your money getting lost stolen all that kind of stuff it's covered but either way yeah i want to make more banking reviews so i'm thinking about reviewing the oxygen bank if you have any other banks let me know down below uh what banks you want me to review i'll happily do that it's not an issue so yeah i was thinking about reviewing oxygen i heard of this other debit card called the extra debit card and i'm mentioning debit cards even though i don't really talk about debit cards that much on the channel i'm mentioning debit cards because a lot of people still use debit cards and they're honestly afraid of credit cards which i can completely understand because if you don't understand credit cards you should be afraid of them because they can really take your money a lot of your money and they can do it fast they can do it easy and you will be stuck and your credit score will probably drop by a lot and you'll just you know be flipping burgers at mcdonald's for the rest of your life yeah so if i can basically provide you guys with some solid debit card options as well as some solid credit card options or just banks in general then i think you'll be pretty well off so it's not always about credit cards but i try to you know maximize cash back that's personally what i like to do so yeah and obviously debit cards allow you to get cash back as well just not as much as credit cards do and they offer basically nowhere near the benefits that credit cards do when it comes to your purchases as well so just something to think about if you have any questions or comments or any requests make sure you drop them down below in the comment section i'm actually gonna grab my laptop now and actually check some of the comments out on my last two videos or two or three videos just to see if I answered them all, I always try to answer all your comments in the comment section down below, but sometimes I don't get to all of them. In this case, I don't think I have. And in some instances, like I get a lot of repeated comments and stuff, but I don't feel like it's really worth making a whole video about. I usually just try to reply to them all because, I mean, the video would be like a minute long, but sometimes I'll do what I gotta do. Either way, I'm gonna check some of your comments and see if I missed any, and then I can just answer those comments right here in this video. So if you're watching, here you go. These are, these are your comments on my YouTube, these are your comments, so let's do it. So actually one person commented on my last video, SRuck22, he actually commented, happy belated, thank you very much. Um, he commented, happy belated, he's talking about my birthday, and he said, how long ago was it before you got approved for the Chase Sapphire Preferred, question mark? I recently got approved for the Flex, and I'm trying to see how long I shall wait until I apply for my next one, and he's talking about another credit card. So he just got approved for the Chase Sapphire Preferred, or you, if you're watching, you just got approved for the Chase Sapphire Preferred, um, He's trying to see how long he should wait before applying to the next one. Um, really, you have nothing to lose unless you unless you really need your credit score for any reason and you know you have a solid credit score to go ahead and get approved for the uh, flex, then go ahead and apply. It's not going to hurt you at all. I mean, it will hurt you as far as like your credit score, but it only hurts you temporarily. And if you don't really need your credit score for any use right now, go ahead and apply. Just take that uh, hard inquiry and that's about it. Hard inquiries basically have little impact to your credit score overall, so I wouldn't be too worried about them. Obviously, you shouldn't go and apply for 30 credit cards in a day, but I mean, if you're going to go and apply for a couple within a month or just a couple within a day, because I've done two in a day before, but a couple in a day, a couple in a month, it's no big deal. Now, don't, do, don't apply for five cards every month because... Well, I don't even know what you would need five cards every month for anyway, but don't for what it's just like it's, you're looking really risky there But either way, yeah, go ahead and knock yourself out. It's not gonna hurt or anything um, But as far as me getting the uh, chase sapphire preferred I applied and got that card about two months ago I made a video about it. So if you just go back and watch my video I got that card like a couple days before I made that video. So yeah also real quick thank you for all the happy birthday wishes i will be replying to every single one of those comments i haven't gotten to all of them just yet but by the time this video is out i'll probably have replied to almost all of the comments if not all of them because it wasn't that many but you know i like to reply to every single one of you guys comments i appreciate all of your comments in the comment section so always leave a comment even if you don't have anything to say just leave a comment by the way the special word of this video or the hidden word or whatever I want to do with these little hidden words. I got three so far. This is the third one. Anyway, the special word for this video is birthday. So type birthday down below. Not happy, nothing like that. Just type birthday down below and I'll know you watched this video, at least to this point. I got another comment here. It's from Steve Robbins. It was posted on my channel about 14 hours ago. And it's actually from my Apple Card 0% interest financing walkthrough video. If you guys don't know what that is, that was actually when I financed my Apple Watch, this one right here, Apple Watch Series 6. I financed it through my Apple Card. With you, When you do that, you get zero interest financing for two years. So you don't have to pay any interest on this. I just pay $20 every single month 
or I can pay it off early if I want to. Anyway, in this comment, he has said, great video. People should also know that you are not allowed to pay more on the finance item unless you pay off your Apple Card balance in full. And you are 100% correct, and I did not mention that in my video. So basically what he is saying is, if you wanna pay extra on this watch, or if you wanna pay this watch off early, or anything you finance using the Apple Card, where's my Apple Card? Anything you finance using the Apple Card, you need to make sure this card is paid off in full before you actually go and try to pay any extra on anything you finance like this. So if the card's not paid in full, you have to pay the balance in full first, then you can go and pay extra money on whatever you finance, it's that simple. The comment actually continues and says, I've been trying to figure out if the amount of the item you finance is reported to credit bureaus. Have you experienced this at all? So basically what Steve is saying is that normally when you put money on a credit card, like the Apple card or any other credit card that you may have, when you put money on there, it takes up your utilization. Normally the more utilization you have on your credit card, the lower your credit score will actually be. So if you run your card up to the max and you max your card out, you have a $10,000 limit and you put ten thousand dollars on that card your credit score most likely will tank until that card is paid off and then it'll just go right back up that's usually how it works and he's asking basically does that happen the same way with the apple card as it does with other credit cards that are in my wallet and the answer right now for me is no the apple card from what i can tell it does not report to credit bureaus as far as your utilization rate when you finance something it does report to credit unions or credit bureaus when you just have a normal balance on there. But when you finance something through Apple, it from my experience, it doesn't. Now your experience may vary, but for me, nah, they don't they don't report to the credit bureau, so that's pretty nice. It's a nice little thing. Can't back that 100% because like I said, that's me. I don't know about you, but I'm just letting you know my experience. So there you go. I'll do one more question for you guys and then we'll close this video out. So the last question actually comes from Marva Gordon. She commented this 22 hours ago during this time basically and the first question she actually had two questions the first question was do you have an october version of this update she's actually talking about my robin hood portfolio update and i make and yes i do marva i do have an october version of my robin hood portfolio update i actually make a robin hood portfolio update once every single month try I, I try to be on time but that usually never happens that way but usually about the first week of every single month you can expect a robin hood video from me basically going over my full robin hood portfolio where i talk about all the stocks that i have in robin hood whether i plan on buying them selling them whether i already sold some during the month anything like that so you can make sure you check out my twitter and my instagram to find out if i buy or sell things during the middle of the month which obviously i do and i think most people do as well but yeah check that out check out my instagram and twitter mainly my twitter because i'll probably tweet if i'm selling something or buying something or thinking about selling or thinking about buying so check out my twitter for that reason it'll be linked down below the second question from marva actually says i want to start investing in stocks can you tell me the test you use do you have a video on that and I don't really know what you mean by test as far as like testing stocks to see which ones to buy and sell or do whatever. But I do general research. I try to buy what I personally like and what I see growth in. So if that's what you're talking about, then I don't really have a video on it. But that's overall my plan and stuff with Robinhood and with investing in general. Obviously, if a stock or a company has good growth, I like it good dividends, all that kind of stuff that I'm probably most likely invested into them or I will be invested into them in the future. If I see some type of progress with the company over the next 10 years, I'm probably gonna drop a little bit of cash in that company. So that's kind of how I invest. You can invest in any type of way you wanna invest, but that's personally how I invest. If that's what you're actually asking, then I'm glad I can answer that question. If it's not, then make sure you just comment down below in this video and let me know what you're really asking me to do or what you want from me as far as investing in stocks, Robinhood, because I got your 1% cover. I've been making Robinhood videos for a while now. I'm actually featured on CNBC from Robinhood or for Robinhood, basically a Robinhood video. So make sure you check that video out as well. So that's kind of it for this video. That is the Q&A. That is the channel update, all that good stuff. That's it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit it with a like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button twice. And yeah, that's kind of it. Make sure you hit up my Instagram, my Twitter. They'll both be linked down below. If you want to follow those, you can follow them. I do a lot more tweeting than I do a lot more Instagramming. But hey, tweeting, tweet. I just love Twitter. I think it's just the best social media platform. That's just personal opinion. Either way, that's kind of it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, um, you know, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure that subscribe button because that's pretty important as well. And only about 7% of you are subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I need you guys to come through with the subscribe. Like notification bell, that'd be cool too. But honestly, if you subscribe, you're already one step there. Go ahead and hit that second step notification bell. That'd be cool too. Either way, I've talked long enough. If you have any other questions, I can do a full-blown Q&A like one of these days. And I can just make like 30 minutes and just answer tons of questions. Try to do it rapid fire and we'll just go from there. But either way, that's it. I'm out. Dollar Mike.
peace.